Now this is one of my favorite trees. I've spoken to you folks about this for many years and I've just shared it with you again on my latest food forest tour where I showed you multiple orchards. Well, let's talk about the Sanguinella blood orange. Most people know about the Moro blood orange, but they fail to remember that there is another variety of blood oranges. I've been growing up for many, many years and started on the rooftop terrace. It's gotten most of this popularity from Organics Best Urban Gardener when it comes to home gardeners and container gardeners. This tree is a wonderful tree. I absolutely love it. Could you guess what is crossed between? Just take a wild guess. I'd love to see your comment and your post below this video. But make no mistake about it. It's been growing in the side of this container for quite some time. Right here. Isn't that incredible? A wooden box. But guess what else decided to grow inside of it? Yeah, you guessed it right. Four to six inches of compost every spring. And what happens? I had another plant that come out of it. You know, the same thing. Want to see it? Cantaloupe. 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 Couldn't believe it. Look at that. That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Look at all the leaves. I didn't vine this one up. I just went ahead and let the leaves go ahead and sprawl out, out over the ground. Shocking, right? Well, it shouldn't be because my father has promised me if I do my due diligence and stay steadfast, he'll take care of me. More cantaloupe. This is absolutely amazing. Oh, I totally forgot about the sanguinella blood orange. Let's talk a little bit about it. To grow one of these, you need a soil that's going to have a pH between 5.5 and 6. Now, 4.5 is the lowest I would go if I were you folks. How do you know your soil is? Well has a low pH of 4.5 to 6. Quite simple, easy, make no mistake about it. This is the test I recommend by Luster Leaf, Rapid Test Soil Tester, and you get 10 tests right there. You got the capsules and you can test fruit trees, trees and shrubs, plants and flowers, grasses and lawns. And on the back, you can test the pH, the NPK, Bam, bam, bam. And to be quite honest, if you truly don't understand this, because it is a basic kit. <laughs> Just for a moment and a pause, commercial is at hand. But as I mentioned again, if you don't have confidence, and after all, this is a basic kit. Just go ahead and contact your local extension and they'll come out for $50 to $125 and perform the test for you. Here's my companion planting with my citrus. And of course, some cantaloupe found their home right here too. I'll make sure I place a video up and show you the amendments I use for my containers. Well, not these containers. They're not open to the bottom. These are. If you find yourself dealing with some sort of webbing, Make no mistake about it, that's just leaf miner. The trees have a defense system. Don't be bothered. It won't damage your tree or stop it from fruiting. But if you start dealing with discoloration in the leaves, treat it with some chelated iron. I like to call it chelated iron, after all. I like creating my own damn words. <laughs> Do a foliar spree with fish emotion, molasses, and seaweed every other week and do a soil drench with fish emotion and molasses. On the weeks that you don't, do a foliar feed. Now these trees got a habit of just literally leaning. You wanna go ahead and provide a source, a stake, pull it back and make sure it stands straight up. Otherwise the tree may need a dose of Diagra, not Viagra, but Diagra. <laughs> I made a damn funny, now laugh. Now here's the secret. When planting your trees in containers or wooden boxes, the best companion plant them. Well, damn, what did I just say? I'll leave that blooper in there. The best companion plant to plant inside the box. That's a lot of damn planting. Jeez, plant to plant to plant. There's more than the pickle in the egg made muffin and the egg in the middle of a muffin. Remember that saying back in the 80s? Go ahead and plant your herbs in there. They love it. 
And to be quite honest, if many of you are having money issues and you don't have money for the proper food to feed your tree, and you don't have compost either, go ahead and dig about six to almost eight inches below the soil. In other words, take all the soil surrounding the tree about eight inches down. Then take your food scraps from indoors and put it in there and go ahead and throw your soil back in there with some fresh compost. Oh my greatness, I just gave away my damn secret, boy! Then again, I'm very humble, so I like to help people. Please, don't make me regret it. <laughs> Until next time, take care of yourself. Or better yet, don't piss me off. Take care of those citrus trees or I'm knocking at your door. And it ain't Debo.